now we will see second poem of our book flamingos an elementary school classroom in a slum by stephen spender so you must know about the poet first poet you must be knowing uh, he is pacifist pacifist means somebody who wants to have the change and that should be with peaceful ways not by violence so that is the poem that we are going to do how the poet wants to have the change in the lives of poor children those who are slum children and uh, how he wants to bring out the change in the lives of these slum children so here we have this uh, a reading of the poem so what is the poem here let's see far far from gusty waves these children's faces like rootless weeds the hair torn round their pallor the tall girl with her way down head the paper seeming boy with red eyes the stunted unlucky hair of twisted bones reciting a father's gland digis his lesson from his desk a back of the class one unnoted sweet and young his eyes live in a dream of squirrels came in the tree room other than this then we have the second para on sour cream walls donations shakespeare said cloudlet cloudless at dawn civilized dome of riding all cities belled flowery tarolis valley open ended map awarding the world its world and yet for these children these windows not this world their world where all their futures painted with the fog a narrow street sealed in with a lead sky far far from rivers capes and stars of world so this is the second para that we had seen then there are two more perils surely shakespeare is wicked the map a bad example with ships and sun and love tempting them to steal for lives that slyly turn in their cramped holes from fog to endless night on their slag heap the children wear skins peep through by bones and spectacles of steel with mended glass like bottle bits on stones all of their time and space are foggy slums so blot their maps with slums as big as doom so that is the third stanza we had seen and now the concluding one where we find a hopeful aspect unless governor inspector visitor this map becomes their lives like catacombs become their window and these windows that shut upon their lives like catacombs break or break open till they break the town and show the children green field and make their world run azure on gold sands and let their tongues run naked into books the white and green leaves open history theirs whose language is the sun so here you find this uh, whole poem and it is there in four stanzas so in the first stanza you will find writer is talking about the physical condition of the children they are sitting in the class and they are stunted 
and their growth is not proper and uh, they are lean and thin and uh, it is told by the writer that poet is narrating that these situations are not uh, created by them these situations are created by society how society is letting them like rootless weeds and how these children they are inheriting the diseases of their parents request and osteoporosis that disease of bones so that is the thing and they are not interested in studies because they are stomach stomach they are not full they are hungry looking like rat paper seeming boy they are lean and thin so that is the status and there is a small boy he wants to go outside because his mind is not there in the class then there are many objects in the class that you see which are donated by people and these objects writer is saying they are of no use for these children because shakespeare is not a befitting kind of person to be cared for to be looked upon they are having so many problems before reading those high classics of kings and queens princes and princesses and the painting that is there of tarol is really that is of no use because they are living in a foggy stunted homes and they are shunted like anything temporary shanty homes so that particular painting is also not required there and same is the case with the map map also they do not require because their lives are ending in their slums like catacombs very little space so whatever is there in the class that is not motivating them that is not inspiring them that may be tempting them to go and do the wrong kind of thing to achieve those things that's why writer is saying map a bad example shakespeare is wicked for them and so is the case of the painting that is hung there but uh, you will find in the end uh, in the concluding para you will find writer is not totally hopeless he is hopeful that some day some inspector will come some authority will come and they would uh, see the conditions of these poor children and maybe these children they can get a better life so there are so many questions which can come from this poem first is the physical condition of these students those who are sitting there you can say they are stunted their growth is not proper they are lean and thin and they have inherited the diseases from their parents second thing you will find the things which are there shakespeare's head or bust you can say map and this portrait in this uh, picture of tarolis valley all these three things they are out of sync they are not required for these people because these people requires require better diet these students require better better food for them better situation for them better housing so that's why writer is saying these things are not motivating them sometimes these things may motivate them for wrong kind of thing to achieve better things the next question that you find generally that comes in exam bleak world bleak world means foggy not only their surrounding is foggy not only their surrounding is polluted so is the mind also their minds are surrounded uh, by so many dirty kind of things which are prevailing in the environment their mind is foggy their mind is uh, not clear 
they are always doubtful about themselves of their future so that question also come a small question how can you say that uh, they have a bleak world or foggy or whatever word that can be used for that is not clear then you have the final thing what kind of things the writer wants for these slum children so this is the big big question that comes a long question that comes that you must write in contrast first you must write that these are the problems physical social problems these children they are facing they are not well fed their growth is not proper and their surrounding they are polluted then you must say that what kind of education these children should get what kind of surrounding these children should get and how they can get they can get with the socialism that writer wants to promote where education is free where housing is free where basic necessities they are fulfilled by governments so this is the indirect kind of reference writer is giving about the importance of socialism over capitalistic kind of thing that we find in most of the part of the world so that is indirect uh, comment by the writer about capitalist countries who are not caring about people those who are living in the slums those who are living in the shanty homes and their children those who are not getting proper education so we will be doing the question also one by one because there can be other questions also regarding the view point of writer about governments view point of writer about these slum children and their well being that's all for the uh, today's poem that's all for the explanation explanation here you find so many words are there which are not clear and uh, these words uh, we must go line by line so that every line is clear because some questions a small question they come from this poem that's all for today thank you have a nice day